Oh, that's definitely it, guys. So today, the COVID-19 quarantine lockdown was lifted in Wales. We can now travel as far as we want, which is great because it is cloudy in Wales. It's been cloudy for the past few days, but there's a comet in the sky. The past few days, comet Neowise has been getting brighter and higher in the dawn skies in the northeast. And there is a little pocket of clear skies on the southwest coast of England. So I'm taking a two and a half hour drive to Exeter. At least that's my plan A. I found this nice viewpoint on Google Maps using Street View, looking over the river from uh, a bridge that goes to the train station. But if it's cloudy there, I'm gonna continue on for an hour to a reservoir that I found in Dartmoor. I can't remember the name of it, but that will be like my plan B because I think it might be clearer down there. So fingers crossed. So this is my glamorous shooting location at the Starcross station. Very apt name. But there's a nice view to the river on the other side. We've got the moon, Saturn and Jupiter looking great in the southern skies. And just on the other side of the river, Mars has risen as well and looking nice in its orange colour contrasting nicely with the street lights as well. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to use Stellarium. There's a new version of Stellarium for smartphones and you can also use it on the web as well. But they've got Comet Neowise already in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some reference stars on the other side of the river so that I can see and sort of work out where Comet Neowise is going to rise in the sky. Uh, and then I can see if I can find a nice composition or whether I want to change locations a little bit if I can. And if I'm really not happy with the test shots, I might just jump in the car uh, and take an hour's drive to Dartmoor to the other location that I mentioned earlier. But hopefully it's okay. I mean, I'm not going for some crazy, insane foreground alignment. I just want to catch the comet and hopefully get a nice image. And fingers crossed the comet stays bright and sticks around so that next week I can do a bit more planning and hopefully get a bit of a better image, let's see, but let's just try and get a shot first. <laughs> So my weapon of choice today is of course the Sony 100 to 400. From what I've seen online, other people have been shooting at about 300 mil, so this should get the job done. So pretty much worked out where it's going to rise in the sky. But there's a lot of cloud over there. There is a window between the cloud, but it's not really looking good. The composition is nice. There's some boats in the foreground. and uh, It's just whether those clouds are going to get worse or clear and get better. But I need to make a decision soon because if I go somewhere else, it's going to be an hour in that direction. Oh. So it's time to put the thinking cap on, mainly because it was getting cold, but we've got to calculate now whether it's worth taking the risk of staying here or head into the next location in hope of clearer skies. And you start checking every weather app that you have on your phone, looking for some optimism, something to make your decision for you. And then you take some test shots and test shots and test shots to see how the cloud is developing. But if there's one thing you can do for me right now, guys, is if you want the clouds to clear, hit that subscribe button. I'm pretty sure that if you hit that subscribe button, the clouds will clear. I'm serious guys, hit it now, look, there is clouds forming above me, there's clouds forming on the other side of the river. If you don't hit that subscribe button, I'm really not going to get my shot. 
Guys, so I was setting up a, hopefully you can see that there, a time lapse with the Samyang 135mm. I'm pretty sure I can see the tail of the comet sticking out from above the clouds. And it's way earlier than I was expecting it to be. I was, I was expecting at least another 40 minutes before I had a chance of seeing it. So I don't know if the tail has gotten a lot bigger in the past 24 hours. But I'm pretty sure I can see the tail sticking up through the clouds. Um, I'm quite happy with the composition. I'm just going to see... Oh, yes. With this lens here. Oh, that's definitely it, guys. Oh. Okay, so I can just see the tail. The nucleus hasn't come up yet. Oh, oh God. So I can just see the tail now. It's sticking up above the clouds. Oh, my God, guys. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get shooting. And so I watched Comet Neowise rising above the clouds with my naked eye, and there was something truly spectacular about the sight of this cosmic snowball just traipsing across the sky. And there was a quote from Dr. John Barentine of the International Dark Sky Association that I saw over on Twitter. He said, This unexpected bright comet is uniting people right now, just as the world needs something to bring it together. That's the power that the night sky has. I'll put some links in the video description down below so you can find out how you can see it from your location. But seriously guys, you're not going to want to miss this. Alright guys, I've switched to my mobile phone to vlog because I needed to use the memory card from that vlogging camera in my other camera because the time lapse ran out. I am over the moon guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm so happy with how this shot has come out. The foreground interest is great and considering I've never been here before and I travelled that far and the clouds and everything was so uncertain so glad I decided to stay at this spot. It's worked out better than I could have imagined. The comet's looking insanely bright and there's two very distinct sort of streams coming off in the tail. see it with the naked eye as well. A Venus has just popped up over there. So you've got a comet there, Venus, Mars, the Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, it's all kicking off guys. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait till it gets higher in the sky and we can see it when it's darker because right now obviously it's twilight. That in the night sky. Oh guys. 